today is another big milestone in the throwing process. What is up y'all? We are at the field in the training room. It's about nine o'clock on Tuesday, July 25th. Today is another big milestone in the throwing process. I get to start throwing change-ups today. Super excited about that. Continuing the throwing every day um, portion of the throwing. So workload's still pretty high. Keeping track of everything and stuff. So we'll see what happens, but um, arms should be feeling good today and uh, Gonna warm up and get ready to go. What's up, Beast? What's going on, bruh? Are you ready for today? 10 minutes at 75 feet, and then we'll come in and at 60 feet and we'll throw a little change pieces. <laughs> oh! Look out! Oh, I know. We're striding, Corey. We're striding today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I remember me and Ricky were here one weekend when the team was away and like we were watching the games or whatever and then that commercial just kept coming up and we were just like, screw it, let's go to Burger King. <laughs> Why not? We were like, we've seen it so many times. No, we were like, we've seen it so many times, we might as well just go. <laughs> this is nice, we're in the shade today. It was loud. It echoed all the way over there. <laughs> Arms a little tired today, Corey. All right. I'm like kind of nervous, but like I trust it. See if I remember how to throw this. I just absolutely yanked the hell out of it. That's it. That was a good one. I mean, I feel like I'm getting around it. I'm just yanking it a little bit. Self-consciously trying to like protect myself. No, I know. Just gotta trust it. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. There you go. Ended on the best one. That was nasty. Let's go. That's interesting. I like thought it would like. I I thought it would be a little bit uncomfortable at first, yeah. just because I'm not used to pronating that much. Yeah. But it felt good. Yeah. I was nervous. I that's like that's what I tore it on. Tore it on. Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all, out here at the field. It is our last official 75 throw day. We are excited. I know Corey's excited. I'm telling him it's our last day at 75 throws. It's our last day, 75 throws. I'm going through this process just as much as he is, <laughs> but the emphasis is on him, obviously. My stuff hurts, but that's okay. That's what I'm here for. It's the last We're gonna day. We're going to get it done. Last day. Let's do Woo! it. Woo! <laughs> All right, Corey, you ready? Me either. <laughs> Had to switch locations because I'm throwing in an absolute crater. Yeah. On spot number three of the day. Let's see how this works. Hopefully. Get some better throws. Oh, yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
20 pounds? David the Beast Grown! All right, y'all, we are here at the apartment. Been a very busy last couple of days. Sam and Eli have moved out of the apartment, so it is pretty much just me in here. I obviously didn't have to move out because I'm staying here next year as well. So McCreary and Veach are gonna be moving in here soon. Um, I think Veach will probably move in within the next couple of days. He just had surgery on his hip, so he's on crutches. So gonna have to help him move in. Shout out Veach. And McCreary's at home right now, and he'll probably be back in a couple weeks. And I kind of made some changes to the room, added some things, and uh, looks a lot nicer than what it did. So um, I'm very excited for that. As y'all can see, very different than what it was before. Um, if you got this desk, it's an L desk, so definitely has a lot more room than what my old desk did. We've also got these black acoustic blockers so basically if I'm filming a video and I want to set my camera up right over there um, the sound won't project off the walls creating that noisy background but yeah that's pretty much the new room setups a lot nicer than what it was before definitely uh, nice to have all this stuff available and it's a lot easier for me to you know do my editing and stuff in here um, for y'all to make these videos so um yeah, definitely nice and very excited for the setup and love it so far. I've been using it now for probably about a week. Love it so far, but place is pretty empty other than that. I'll show you all around. So yeah, this is pretty much the place now. We still got the couch because the couch came with the apartment and the TV is different because Sam's 60-inch uh, TV was right there before and that TV was in Eli's room. This is also the apartment's TV. So put that back where it originally was and so that'll probably be our normal TV. So that's all taken care of. Um, here is Sam's room. It's pretty empty as y'all can see. It's all gone. Eli's room is also empty too. Look at this, you can see it. So yeah, I'm the only person living in this apartment. Other than that, I'm about to make some food. Obviously gotta eat, keep up with the gains and everything. Probably go to the field and get some mechanical work in today, even though it's my day off. Keep up with that stuff. Hopefully the body feels good. The arm felt tired this week. It's probably the most tired my arm has felt after throwing. 75 throws is a lot, and I'm very happy that that's over and I don't have to do 75 throws anymore because it was very much a pain in the butt and my arm did not like doing it, especially at 105 feet too. So started throwing change-ups as y'all know, and uh, definitely have had a lot of fun doing that so far. So that's always good. Just chilling in the locker room right now. The Yankees are on on that TV right there. So just kind of watching this before I head to the cages and get some work in. So y'all can see there's a little bit of a difference here in the locker room. There's some portable lockers out because uh, we've got a lot of incoming guys. So I think our total number for next year and at the start of the fall will be 47. Pretty crazy that there's going to be freaking 10 more people than what we already got in here. So we got to put the cleats on. Yankees already down. 2 nothing. It's probably 3 nothing now. Yep, Ryan O'Hearn, single, three nothing in the first inning. That's why I don't watch Yankees baseball in the regular season anymore, because stuff always happens. All right, let's do it. All right, gotta get our stick. And work on what we need to work on. It's kind of like I was saying last week, basically um, what I'm trying to feel is just this, this back hip kind of going forward and keeping everything stacked up top while not getting into my back leg too quick and using my momentum down the mound to kind of help me 
get more force towards the plate, more force and energy. Um, and that's what kind of helped my command out. So just trying to really engrave this into the muscles and uh, get some muscle memory down a little bit and get used to feeling this down the slope. And uh, yeah, that's what, that's what I've been working on mainly and focusing on over the course of this time period. So just kind of honing in on it and trying to perfect it. So basically this drill is helping me not collapse my back knee too quick as well. Um, because when you're collapsing your back leg, you're most likely collapsing your knee as well. And this also helps because I'm trying to work down the slope and this kind of counters me collapsing my front leg down like this and getting into a bad position, which is gonna offset my upper half into getting this kind of motion right here, which is something you don't want and is not good for your elbow which is not good for me because as y'all know, we're, we're going through that right now, so. All right, gonna do some dry reps and then uh, call it a day probably. Just super light, probably was in here for about 10 minutes. I don't know how many I'm gonna do, just feel it out. Body's stiff today, so just feel it out, see how it feels and uh, try and feel these things that I'm working on and um, yeah, let's do it. Body felt okay, just very stiff. Is what it is, can't be loose every day. It's kinda touch and feel, it's my off day today, so normally I wouldn't come in, but um, I was just sitting at the apartment, bored and uh, wanted to come work on that stuff, so. The Yankees are down 7-0 in the second inning. Sheesh, that's brutal. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure you subscribe. Also, be sure to check out my Florida video. I'll link it right up here. I'm doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers for this custom Cooperstown bat. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Super cool, has my logo on it. I also signed it as well. Super excited to give that away, and we're about 700 subscribers away from 10,000, so be sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you next week. Um, like I said, I'm trying to incorporate some newer stuff into this, so comment down below if y'all want, want to see anything specific. And yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see y'all next week. Peace out.